Let's rock. Welcome, everyone, to the Real Who Beans cast. I'm back. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with David Aston. Aloha. What, what's the special occasion? Look at you. You got a suit on and everything. Damn. I, I just simply dress now as though I'm important, and I feel important and enjoying life, basically. There you go. And I just got a haircut. I feel important, too. All right. <laughs> we got breaking news, dude. Oh, cool. This is the mother of all breaking news. Now, I got to tell you, before I read this article, I was very concerned for Doctor Who because I believe that Doctor Who had some new competition, a new show oh. that's going to start on HBO, a time travel show. Uh-oh. That was going to really cause problems for Doctor Who. Now, if you remember the movie The Time Traveler's Wife. Oh, yeah, thank you. I really Johnny enjoyed Depp. that. Rachel McAdams, right? And uh, was it yeah. Eric Banner? Well, here's the kicker. And then I, I decided to read the complete article. And then I my mouth opened. I couldn't believe what I read. And it turns out. Are you ready for this news? Oh, shit. The showrunner of The Time Traveler's Wife, you ready? Stephen Moffat. Stephen Moffat. I thought so. Stephen Moffat will adapt the script and executive produce the show. He will write the episode. It's going to be a series on HBO. With Sue Virtue, which is his wife, and Brian Mitchin, executive producing it, which are, they are from Doctor Who and Sherlock. So Moffat is going to make a whole series out of it. <sighs> Christ. See, I actually guessed that. When you asked me to guess, you could see me quite clearly, Joe, in the views. I actually guessed it perfectly. I don't know why, I just had... This I sense a disturbance in the force. Oh yeah, I had many voices crying out, and then silence. We could have a situation where on a oh, Saturday no, night, Moffat, unfortunately, you watch Doctor Who or you watch Stephen Moffat's time travel show. When did you think that was ever going to be a situation? Why? So, why? Why is Moffat doing that? Yeah, why well, look, well, he needs work, doesn't he? He needs to work, right? Yeah, so why not, why not do what he knows, time enough. travel? People have suffered for the last seven years. He wants to do time travel, and that's that yeah. he's pretty an expert, I guess, on that. So you know what? They may go head-to-head -head yeah. on a Saturday night. Maybe Chris Chibnall's Doctor Who versus Stephen Moffat's Time Traveler's Wife. Now, for those of you who not really don't know, it was rumored that Moffat used the Time Traveler's Wife to kind of explain the River Song thing because in the Time Traveler's Wife books and the movie, the guy mm -hmm. meets his wife out of order. Ah. They're meeting them out of order. Timey-wimey type thing. Right. So... And then all of a sudden, River was then even out of order. But yeah. Oh, God, they're going to get Alex Kingston in something that seems suspiciously like a River Song type cat. Hello. Well, no, these are going to be a young couple. Oh, yeah, loads, I don't know what I mean is. Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. Maybe they'll guest star at different parts. But uh, yes, yeah, Stephen Moffat, man. He's, and he's doing Dracula also. Oh, so he's, he's doing Dracula. Doing He's oh. doing Time Traveler's Wife. He's doing Dracula. He's also writing. He's helping out with the script for the American version of Jekyll, which is oh. going to star Chris Evans. Now, that was a really good show when it was on. I actually enjoyed that. I never seen it, though, dude. I got I, Shame uh, on me, man. Shame on me for not seeing it. Well, basically, it, it starred um, the Irish guy from... Uh, Coupling, I believe. Uh, no, no, is it coupling? No, um, he cold, did coupling. Cold, cold feet. The, one of the stars from that, the Irish bloke, he played the character of Jekyll and Hyde, and oh. uh, and it was really a modern take on that. And 
that was before he did Sherlock. So maybe that inspired him to try the same approach with right. Sherlock. You know, take a classic modern thing. day. Yeah, yeah, sort of a classic thing, but set in the modern day, and you know, see. And what Dracula's supposed to be set in modern day too. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Dracula's supposed to be set in modern day. I th I believe. It's a very modern thing. It's all. It has a lot of themes of sexuality and uh, um, yeah. sexual diseases and uh, yeah. uh, even rape in a sort of way. You could argue. Jesus. Oh, all right. So being that this is the real Who Beans cast, I want to get your opinion on Doctor Who lately, and I want to get your opinion on the TARDIS console that we saw a brief picture of her with the backdrop look like a broken clock or or inside of a clock, like the gears. Hmm. It looked like the TARDIS was inside of a clock type of thing, which, I mean, isn't that like a lazy design of, you know, very typical that you would think the TARDIS is like inside of a clock with the the gears on the wall and it's kind of like, I mean, that's kind of plain and boring. Yeah, but it's only two pictures so far. Isn't it? I know. There's one where it's the door and you've got the doctor for people who haven't seen it, the 13th doctor. She doesn't look happy though. No, you've got the panels in the background, which are, it looks like an industrial sort of cox type steampunk. thing. Steampunk. Like a steampunk uh, type of it's thing. It's a bit like um, um, Invasion of Time sort of mm. background in that, that room where the fourth Doctor and... Uh, uh, the Taurus console, the old one? No, no, when he's sort of in his study type room with uh, Barusa. Um, there's you got all these sort of clocks on the wall. It's all very sort of artsy fancy. Right. And then the second picture is you got three chairs, one for each of the cars, you know, the doctor and companion, and then the entrance. And then you can very vaguely see some of the TARDIS interior type thing. But it does. You got sort of smoke and industrial sort of yeah, industrial sort of. Metal. I guess it's too early, right? Too early. Yeah. So. But it looks quite nice. But, God, I hope you don't go with a girly type thing. I know that the BBC are also not letting anybody show any pictures. They're flagging channels down. They're, they're, Good really, they're really not allowing people to show any pictures of the season. Which is what they should do to keep all the excitement. I don't want to see the interior, the TARDIS. I want them to do what they did with the Lemp Doctor. You didn't get to find out really, I mean properly. Until the episode what, Snowman, right? When he opened it up and Clara was in the Snowman episode? You're talking about that? No, no. During the um, Lemp Hour, you didn't really get to see the TARDIS console interior. In both right. cases, really, until both those episodes. And um, with Snowman, as Joe mentioned, it was done in such a clever way you know a magical sort of staircase he enters i mean where clara enters and it's a lovely sort of it's a bit like um the, the um, 1960s movie mm. tardis interior isn't it interesting how matt smith had his own two different tardises like his own oh. right only him had his like you know that's interesting I wonder why, though, because... Uh, you know, I really thought maybe they did that because they really thought that he was going to do another season and they wanted to make it fresh. But then he yeah. didn't. I think that's what it was. But still, I enjoyed it. I loved his stories. I it was them. the smartening up of the show, though, really. They smartened his uh, costume up. And then they did the same thing with the interior. With his first TARDIS console... Um, Ah, there's an article in Doctor Who magazine with the designer of the original 60s TARDIS mm. interior. And he described uh, Matt Smith one as a dog's dinner. He didn't like it at all. Oh, wow. It always reminded me of bloody cheese. Wow. Uh, Is that the first cheese. one you're talking about? Yeah, the first one. The one that was on a raised platform type thing, yeah. Okay. It was all over the place. But in the early days of the Lemp Doctor, it was... His character was all more sort of, you know, early Troughton in a way. Then later on, he became more sort of refined and grandiose and less, mm. less thrills and more refinement. Right. 
We're going to get um, another member of the Real Who Weens pop it in shortly. Scott is going to be popping in. And there he is! Woohoo! Scott! There he is. Hello, sorry. We're live. Uh, we're Who Weens cast. We're breaking news. Stephen Moffat is show running and writing all the episodes of a TV series on HBO called The Time Traveler's Wife. With the Doctor Who producers, his wife, and whatever. and direct, nice. it's, So it may go up directly against Doctor Who also if it's on Saturday so night. Oh, this means he's going to be fading in and out of time like they did in the movie? He's yeah. going to make a series out of it where he's probably going to do... He's probably going to do a thing where he undo, d does his death, so to speak. Like he alters time because... He's popping in in front of himself and different things. So, so he might be uh, stopping another somebody's show. Oh, who said that? Oh, that, that damn Puffin versus that. Chip now. Oh, oh, shit, man. What the hell? Oh, this is the poultry guy. Dude, took over by Dude, I, got, I was reading the article, and before I started like getting to the next paragraph, I'm like, hmm. oh, this is bad for Doctor Who, that America on HBO is doing a time travel. Yes. I mean, yes, timeless was NBC, but now you're talking about big time yes. HBO time travel yep. where it will be over Doctor Who or two. And they need to replace a show like Game of Thrones, so they're creating a whole new series that will go for mm -hmm. years. And this would be a thing to really be competition for Doctor Who. Well, 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 it's of a replacing Game of Thrones. Well, Game of Thrones is ending. So they yeah. need to have a yeah. hit show. Really? Right. Shit. Yes. Fuck. It's ending. Yes. Oh, so, nice. yes, yeah, so they need to have new shows, and this is going to go on for years, where everybody's going to do cast on and everything. But guess what? Now he's going to directly be going against Doctor Who at some point in time in the future. Oh, so it's like yeah. a big scroll oh, your yeah. toe. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think I. So think. get ready to see that curly perm from the from the Brady Bunch baby because he's back. Stephen oh, yeah. Moffat's back, and he's not biting on you on the neck yet because he's doing time travel again. Oh yeah. Well, I think our favorite time traveler is going to beat him. Actually, I feel. I don't know. Well, we'll have I, to well, see. They have a lot to. Uh, they really, really. <sighs> Chibnall has to really get people on his side, and he has to win through. Because if they don't get, get on, your, on his side, if they if they tank in the ratings, it could be the end. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you guys saw my video that I posted. You're freezing video. up, dude. Am I? You hear me? Yeah. You've caught in a time, Eddie. Did you, Scott? You hear me? I can hear you. Uh, I don't know, did, I don't know if anybody saw my videos earlier. Time. Did, you, you see me jumping? What's the matter? No, no, oh. I'm just joking. So, okay. so before I went to GameStop early today. And I look up and I see the TARDIS. Ooh. I see two TARDISes. And they're throw pillows. So they're huge. And so, of died. course, I didn't think, you know. I, I joked around afterwards, like, oh, I wonder what Sharon's going to say when she sees these <laughs> two huge things on the couch. Yeah. So at some point in time, I, I, it was so heavy carrying them home, right? At some point in time, I'm... I'm I was looking around and I'm like, there's a TARDIS in my bathroom. There's a TARDIS on my wall. There's a TARDIS in my kitchen. There's a TARDIS in my living room. There's a, tar there's a TARDIS in every room of the house. Yeah. Even when I'm in the bathroom, I'm in the TARDIS shower curtain. Even in my kitchen on top of my fridge. Even in my living room. There are TARDIS everywhere. Everywhere. So I, I thought it was funny. I'm like, what is Sharon going to think? How does she feel about this? It's her oh, couch too. God. <laughs> oh. wow. I spoke to her on the phone and she's like, uh, yeah, what's this on my couch? <laughs> like, you know, it's like, oh, I was surprised to see this stuff on my couch. I'm like, yeah. Hon, you, you want to bring in the, the pillows? Can you carry one at a time? Oh, my God. Fucking oh, hell. So they're, they're pretty huge, though. They're oh, not even. I know. They're pretty, you can only carry one at a time, <laughs> I think. Yeah, they're big. They're big. Um, oh fuck! That's what she said. She she can't Not carry. She can't gold. carry both of them. Fucking hell! No, they're they're. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. How big are they? Oh. 
God, wait, wait. Holy wait, 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 shit, that's the most famous one. Wait. Jesus. Oh, wait, fuck. all right, wait, all right. <laughs> Good <laughs> Lord. Look at you. I can't breathe. Oh, God, <laughs> that 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 I, can I lost my hand. <laughs> my... <laughs> oh, thanks, Hans. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too happy. Right. Oh, oh, he loves God, that. He's it. his face. Oh, oh Bill of Fire. You are fucking chuffed by those, aren't Wait. you? Oh, hold on. Wait. Oh, of course it does. Of course it does. And it lights up. Holy shit. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Oh my so they, god. They were huge and they're on my couch. And it was, oh my god. Oh, it's so bad. I'm like a little kid. He's got, he I'm gets like, it's like, it's like oh my god. god. And they were on clearance. Clearance. How could I say no, though? Uh, where from? How could oh, you say no? GameStop. Game GameStop, oh. Yeah, oh good. How can I say no to this? I've heard of GameStop. You know what the best it. part of buying this merchandise is? It doesn't have that shitty logo. <laughs> 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 right? I got a loophole. I got it without the shitty logo. That wimpy logo. Right? Here. Holy it's shit. Not bad, Dude, I almost cool. had a heart attack. Dude, I was walking home with this shit. People, and you know what? I'm dressed in blue. I have my bag is like TARDIS blue. I'm, I'm dressed like the TARDIS myself. People are looking at me like, what the, who is that? What is wrong what, with what, this? What, what, he's got the poli police? What's that? People are looking at me like weird when I was going home. Because is this I, guy the blue I was like, I couldn't bring this to work. I mean, it's, it's like one of the Smurfs, probably. So, hi. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's cool. So, uh, oh, here's the thing. My God. Um, more than likely, the kids are, are going to be allowed to take one of these home because, oh. yeah. But you know what, though, it's okay because they, they, they I didn't. They're, they're, so, they're so huge, man. I'm sorry, but yeah. oh, I think that's cool. I it know is. that's awesome. It is. It is. is so. So weird. I hope you guys got a laugh. Oh my god. Yeah, I love them though. It's like a set, you know. Yeah, that's, that's a nice that's pillow perfect. though. Yeah, that's nice. They're, they look pillows, flashy. They're pillows. They're pillows. Holy Christ! The only that's... thing is, if you're sleeping in the middle of the night and you press the wrong button, you're gonna hear the <laughs> hardest D material, <laughs> and you're gonna get, you're gonna be like, "Who's coming? What? The doctor? What? Look!" And now, now my ears like say no to the headpiece. You'd have to, have to be a little bit careful if you're getting down to hey. you know what. Hey. Otherwise, you might be giving yourself might enter away. the time vortex. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right, we'll keep it clean now, David Aston. Hello, talk with David Aston. Yeah. All right, we'll get out of here before we slip up. So, the gigantic. So, that's that's really good quality, considering what you get. It, it was really nice. So, well, thank you, GameStop. Thank you for trying to help me bag these up, and, and I took it off there. Yeah, um, how much were they... Uh, before they uh, were your um, They were on clearance. So it cost me $40. Ooh. Uh, each or together? 20 each. Okay, 20 each. Uh, but it's fine. I Originally, I thought it was $10. They misquoted, but then it was it was fine. Uh, I took it anyway. How much would they have been if you bought them before? I don't even know. I'm sure they would have been like... something. I They would have been like, what? 50, right? Yeah. I would think like If not 50, then at least 100. 50 each. It would be $100 total. 50? I, I would think so. Shit. They're big. Yeah. Those are huge friggin'. They make noise. They light up. I mean, you have to put a battery so in you there. Got them basically for over less Jeez. than half. Yeah. But yeah, I, I'm happy, battery. you know. I think they're going to stay in here, maybe. maybe. It's so big. And you know what I have on my couch? My Spider-Man pillow, right, Scott? Spider and my Doctor Who yeah. blanket. I have a Doctor Who blanket. And then I have a Spider-Man blanket, right? So I'm like, wow, I just took over this whole freaking house, didn't I? You know, it's like, oh, my God. This poor woman has to see TARDISes in every room, right, Sharon? Uh, yeah, I know. All right. So, if the, uh, yeah. Uh, so, kids, if you're like watching, distinct. please take one of the TARDISes home so I don't sleep on the couch. <laughs> all right. On that note, guys, <laughs> take care. Bye for now.